Funding for All is Bright, a Concordia Christmas was provided by Golden State Foods, feeding 5 billion people every day, and by a generous donation from Charlie and Ling Zhang. Merry Christmas from the faculty, staff, and students of Concordia University, Irvine. We are delighted to have you join us for this holiday concert, and we hope that the musical selections presented this year will bring joy into your homes. Since the coronavirus outbreak, we at Concordia University, Irvine have adapted continually to carry out our educational mission safely and responsibly. This concert is no exception. The large ensembles and crowds that you will see in some selections were filmed prior to COVID. The smaller ensembles, however, were captured recently in accordance with all state and local guidelines. Like so many other things this year, the students have adapted and pressed forward in hope. While this has been a challenging year, it is our fervent hope that this concert brings you and yours overflowing joy through the message of Christmas. Please enjoy All is Bright, a Concordia Christmas. Bye. 
All is bright. It's true for so many reasons, although it sometimes seems dark, doesn't it? COVID-19 consumed so much of our year. Fear of sickness and death or fear of being the one to spread it to others brings darkness. Uncertain economic times, furloughs, layoffs, cutbacks, schools online, students attending class from home while the rest of the household desperately tries to get their share of the bandwidth and a little bit of privacy just for their connection to the outside. Conflicting needs lead to tension and blow-ups. Physical distancing too often became social distancing, cutting us off from friends, family, and our community. Video is nice, but it leaves something lacking. And then our isolation is magnified by divisions over politics important social issues and long festering inequities that weigh on us. There has been plenty of darkness this year, but darkness can be broken. This season reminds us that there is hope, there is light. Thank you. 
Living in an electric world, we are bombarded with light. Street lights illuminate every road. Signs brightly glare into the night. We wake in the middle of the night and we see illumination from clocks, phones, power adapters, and more. When we look to the night sky, all this light can make it hard to see the stars. But walk alone in a dense forest on a moonless night. Take an evening drive on a solitary country highway. Go on a tour of a cave. Or simply walk alone in a remote parking lot in a strange location. And it hits us. Darkness can be thick, dense, oppressive, disorienting. That's when we see light's power. A small light can shatter the gloom and transform our experience. If we stop and wait, the beauty of a small, hopeful, yet powerful light breaks through and allows us to see and feel the power of promise. Sweet little holy 
One of the amazing things about light is its lack of limits. Light that helps us see does not diminish when shared with others. That's why light and darkness is such a powerful metaphor. Christmas speaks of light for the world, but there's plenty of light for individuals as well. Light is all around us, but it is often a single person who most effectively and powerfully brings the light of hope into the darkest places where it is most needed. So we stop. We think. We give thanks for the many caring people who are bringing light to meet human needs through selfless service. As we listen to the Concordia Choir sing the beautiful Luke Sarumke, we salute our alumni and those in our community who have found ways to shine light through their vocations.
I, among the least, will arise and take a journey to the east. But what shall I bring as a present for the king? What shall I bring to the manger? I will bring a song, a song that I will sing in the manger. Watch out for my flocks. Do not let them stray. I am going on a journey. Far, far away. But what shall I bring? As a present for the child. What shall I bring to the manger? I will bring a lamb. Gentle, meek, and mild. A lamb for the child in the manger. I'm just a shepherd boy. Very poor I am. But I know there is a king in Bethlehem. What shall I bring as a present just for him? What shall I bring to the manger? I will bring my heart. And give my heart to him. I will bring my heart to the manger. Light is connected with many customs and observances that take place during the darkest times of the year. Hanukkah's menorahs, Diwali lamps, or Kanar lit for Kwanzaa brighten the darkest months of winter. Homes and communities are decorated with lights. Candles are lit. Flames pass from one person to another as brightness gathers and grows. It is as we are defying the darkness. Go away. We've had enough. We banish you. It is not surprising that the light is a part of many Christmas traditions like Advent wreaths, midnight masses, or candlelit singing of carols. As Christians celebrate the birth of Jesus, they remember that his nativity was marked with a star. They recall that Jesus called himself the light of the world, who have come to bring the light and deliverance to everyone who would receive him. His light shines in the darkness, and darkness cannot overcome the light.
up, sleepyheads. It's morning. Time to get out of bed and get moving. Parents often coax their children awake with such words, receiving sleepy groans or complaints in response. Go away. Five minutes more. I'm too tired. It doesn't stop with childhood, does it? How many mornings would you like to turn off your alarm, roll over, keep your eyes closed, and go back to sleep? If only we could. But some mornings are different. Exciting things are planned. It's vacation day that we've been anticipating. We're going to see somebody we love. A surprise is going to be revealed. It's rarely hard to wake up a child on Christmas morning. In fact, that morning, maybe they're the joyful ones waking their parents. Open your eyes, wake up, it's Christmas. They're right, it's Christmas. Open your eyes and see, arise, your light has come. This season is one of contrasts. Darkness is broken by light. Fear by courage. Despair by hope. We reflect and remember. We find joy in giving and in sharing. St. Luke's Christmas story says that the birth of Jesus was announced to shepherds who were watching their flocks at night a cold and dark and lonely place. Old traditions are even more specific. It came upon a midnight clear. At the deepest part of night, when light is most needed, that is when the light of the world is revealed. On a silent, calm, holy night. 
we rejoice in the light. We go forth with the light, thankful that because of what happened at Christmas, all is bright. All of us at Concordia University, Irvine, wish you a very Merry Christmas.
Funding for All is Bright, a Concordia Christmas was provided by Golden State Foods, feeding 5 billion people every day, and by a generous donation from Charlie and Ling Zhang.